Hi everybody, this is Diane. I am almost done organizing my crafting spaces. This, I think, is the last of it. Um, I'm going to... It's organized. I just need to purge some of it. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, and then I'll have to finish labeling things. I've done some labeling as I went, but I think I have quite a bit more labeling to do. And I do have to purchase a couple of crates for my closet in the office. And then I will be able to take you on a tour. So let's just get into these. These are all vintage photographs, believe it or not. This bag is, this is a big bag. This has cabinet cards and portrait style um, photos, and a lot of them are antique. This has yearbook pictures and the recent high school pictures that I got at an estate sale. This is just snapshots that were taken out of photo albums. And this little bag here is um, Tim Holtz photos and like, <coughs> sorry, digitals, copies that I made or, and some pictures from books that I consider, you know, they look like photos, so they're in here. So these are not real photos. So I think we will start with this one. Let's, let's get the big one out of the way. I know we won't have time to do all of these in one video. And I probably won't do more than one video doing photographs. But let's just see how much we can get done here. This is a beautiful, I think it's 8 by 10 but the picture itself is not that big, obviously. But it's a beautiful picture. I will keep that one. For the big ones. Oh, I have so many. Oh, these are just... Some of these are just the cardboard that they came on. The chipboard and the frames. and It's a nice one with a rose on it. I didn't want to get rid of these because I think I will do something with them. Maybe I should put them somewhere else besides in this because I forget that they're there. This might have come in this frame. I took it out so I could make digitals, all of these things. <coughs> I made digitals, but they, they weren't selling, and I don't know if they're still in my shop. I don't think they are. Oh, well, these are copies. They, they should go elsewhere. These are the prints I made of the digitals that used to be in my shop. So I'll use those or else I'll put them in a D-stash bundle. Alright, here's this. I love this picture. I think I did take this out of the frame and make a digital with it. In fact, oh I didn't take it out of the frame. I just copied it frame and all because she's glued down. I think she would look nice on the front of a journal. I'm going to collect all of the cabinet cards, the ones that are on the heavy board, and I will have to thin some of those out. So let me collect them <clears throat> so I know what I have, and then I will have a better idea of what I'm willing to give up. Some of these belong in the other pouch with the um, photographs that came out of uh, uh, albums. Oh my goodness. That's a really nice one. I know I'm going to keep that one. I don't know if these are all considered cabinet cards, but they're on heavy board. So I'm going to put them all together here and take a look at them. sweet. Maybe I should include these. They're not on heavy board, but they're antique portraits. This one is bent, unfortunately. That one is torn. I love this with the green frame. School photo. I wonder if there's a date on it. 
Looks like it might be from the... Looks like a boy, but it looks like a girl style blouse. Um, 30s or 40s, probably. Oh, it's glued on there, so I can't see the back of it. <laughs> I like the frame, though. There's a tin type. So I've got some copies in here. So they'll go in my other packet. Oh, I've got a lot of them, don't I? Some of them came out of an album. Like, I think this one and some others like that came out of an album that I purchased quite a few years ago. Like, a fuzzy album. It was funny. It was in terrible condition. Well, we're going to have a job just going through these. So mostly this bag is cabinet card type of photos. Some really nice pictures here. And I think... Thought I heard another metal. Yep, there's another tin type. All right, I think that's all the. Nope, it wasn't all. <laughs> okay, I'll move these, and I will move all of these. There's not much left since I picked out all the chipboard ones. So next I'm going to divide them into size. I have a lot of this size and a lot of this size, I think. These are the ones that came out of that album that I purchased. Um, that fuzzy album. It was the first antique photo album I bought. de-stashed some of these, but I still have too many. I may have acquired more after I de-stashed, I don't remember. I guess it's this size that I have a lot of. These are just a little bit bigger, I guess. I don't know, maybe some of them are the same. Some of these belong over here. I don't know what I did with sizes. I mixed them up, I guess. Got some bigger ones. That's not a chipboard one. I think this is not a chipboard one either. He looks very serious. I guess I'm not going to put the paper ones in with these. This is a paper one. These are just unusual sizes there. All 
Okay. I wonder what happened to the... Oh, here it is. So I have one like this, and I have another one this size, but it's paper and not chipboard. So this is a lot, and I guess I think I don't use the chipboard ones because they are so thick. I would make copies of them probably. So I should let a lot of these go. I guess that's not chipboard. But it's really hard to let them go, you know? Let me start with the big ones. I just think she'd be pretty on the front of the cover. And I love her. She's glued down, so I can't take her off. 1908. Hilda Higgeton. Confirmation picture. Taken in 1908, born 1893. No writing on that one. I think I have several photos of this family in different groupings. It's not chipboard. All right. I don't know. They're all so interesting, you know? I can't. I just can't. Cute little girl. I like these because they're square and they're set on point. They're interesting. He's interesting. They're all interesting. This one is unusual because I don't know how old it is, but it's an er it's in an era where they didn't normally take casual photos. They were all posed. Well, this is posed, but he's eating. He's at the table. And then these folks are outside. I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> That's one. And that one. Okay. I got, <laughs> I'm moving out two of them. It's a start. Men and children and women. And couples. I will let some of these go because I have so many of them. I will keep those. He looks like a nice young gentleman. Let me see if there's writing on any of these. This is somebody's Uma's sister's husband, Mr. D.L. I don't know. But it's somebody's sister's husband. <laughs> Love the whiskers. Oh, I love the back of this. Hazleton, Pennsylvania. It's somewhere in the Scranton area. Penyan, New York. That's where I go to the big farmer's market to get my grapes in the fall. Got rid of two more. It's just so hard, people, I tell you. <laughs> 
twins. Aren't they precious? More twins. Are they the same one? I wonder. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Pretty smile. I'm letting more of those go. their sisters or maybe a mother and daughter I like this group photo she's wearing her cape I love her, the character here I just wonder about these people, you know? There's three more. Two more. Okay, we'll put these in the same piles women and children and men and couples if there are any couples in this batch okay men first it's quite the beard he has there I really like the backs of these. This is from Troy, Pennsylvania. I've had some others from Troy, Pennsylvania. Dealer in sewing machine needles, etc. He's a photographer. Um, my brother lives in Troy, Pennsylvania. There's three. <laughs> Not making as much of a dent as I was hoping to. I feel like I'm dealing cards here. Okay, I should be able to pass on more of these. That one. I like this one because of her hat. This one looks Civil War era. It's not really a chipboard one, but it's sturdier than paper. Oh, I thought I could get more rid of more of these. What am I going to do with them all? One, two, three, four, five. Five is better than nothing, right? And I only have two kids' ones. So I'll keep them both. No, I'll pass them both on. How about that? Of course, I'm keeping the tin types. And then I had this one, and because it's unusual, I'll keep that. Okay. 
with these larger photos, it's hard to do something with in junk journals. This one I can. I can actually glue it back into the frame and use the frame. It's small enough, and I love that picture, so I'll keep that one. I can pass that one on. I love this one, and it's bent, so I don't really want to put it into a bundle, so I'll use that one. And this one is torn. I'll use that one. Here's the other long, skinny one that's not a chipboard one. I love that little smile. Alright, some of these are also ones that I printed. See, there's the torn one. You can see the crack right there. These are the ones I made digitals of. I might just, I might keep some of these, but probably put the bulk of them into a bundle. These go in with the other photographs. Somebody colored his cheeks. These look really old. I think I got these in that in the box of stuff from the Labor Day flea market. He's damaged pretty badly. They say a dollar on the back. So I'm not sure where that vendor got them from. But they were someone was trying to sell them for a dollar each at some point. Ruby can't read the last name. It's just a tiny little picture of Ruby with a beautiful smile. It's adorable. Alright, I guess I better just look at these big ones. this pretty girl. I can take her out of the frame. It's from 1924. St. Patrick's graduation. Teresa. Somebody. Looks like it's from the, oh yeah, I was going to say it's from the 20s because of her shoes, but it's 1924. I don't use children images that much and I know a lot of you do look at those shoes I'll let that one go but I love these this looks like Civil War era also or maybe just after the war it was printed on something else hmm. Well, I've only gotten rid of this much so far. But that takes up quite a bit of room in that pouch because they're thick. All right, what else do we have? These are more that I printed. came out of the plastic. I think there's two in this. I've got a cute little boy and a man in a rowboat. This one's on a postcard. 1921. This picture was taken in 1920, December. She's very cute. The little sailor boy. Oh, oh, that's a copy. Thought I had two of him. Ah, <laughs> oh, somebody scribbled right there, and it's bent up pretty good. But look at that child. 
the hair, the outfit, the button boots. There is, it's Donald Keltner and there's no date. He looks pretty bored. <laughs> That's funny. There's another copy. Okay. This might be the end of this. Oh, I got a couple that slipped under stuff. And I will let them all go. How about that? All right. Now we can finish this pile up. We've done one pouch. I'll let this one go. The guy with the red cheeks. You can't see his face very well. This little guy. I want these just because of their Civil War dresses. And him just because of his frame. And these look extremely old. I'm going to put this in with the photo album pictures. Okay, now, anything else I can let go? I guess I can let him go. And her. And him. I'm going to keep the sailor. He's too cute. This has a funny like a silvery tint to it. Can you see it? It's getting dark in here. I did what I could, people. I did what I could. So, because I removed all of those uh, ones that I printed and I de-stashed some, this should fit in my pouch better. I mean, it didn't have any problem fitting, but it was really full, really fat. Yes. Yes, yes, that's much better. There's still more than I need in there, but baby steps. So I feel good about that. I think that the, the one with all the, um, oh, I should deal with that one too. I guess I'll put that in the D-stash pile. I'll deal with these photograph album pictures, another, Time. well after this video or maybe tomorrow because that's going to take a long time but maybe we can take a quick look at that one this is school pictures too so I'll put that with that I'm going to put all of these into this pouch these came out of that other pouch but they don't belong in there later. Let's take a look at this. This is a school memories book. I grabbed it at the flea market because I saw these. I didn't see any of these class pictures in there. I just saw, kind of flipped it open and saw the signatures at the back, the autographs, and I saw one of those, one of these, and I thought, oh, this is a fun book. So I brought it home, and then I realized that there were class pictures in there, and I think these would be really fun to put into a journal. This is 1963-64, Randolph Township, New Jersey. So since I'm doing D-Stash, I am going to remove some of these pictures and send them, around, send them along to someone else. You've got AM Kindergarten and PM Kindergarten. 
in another PM kindergarten. We have first grade, several first grade. We have second grade. Five second grades. Nope, six second grades. Let's see, sixty three, sixty four. I wasn't even in kindergarten yet. I guess these aren't, they're not class photos, they're just, I thought, I don't know why I thought they were class photos, just because they're all on one page. Um, so maybe, I was thinking that each page represented a separate class, but maybe not. This is Mrs. Stutz, Mrs. Hammers, Mr. Farver, yeah, I guess they did. Each one is a different grade or a different class. These are all sixth grade. And then we have these fun pages. My favorite classmates, paste the picture there. Chosen chums, I remember most of all. And then you paint, paste the picture there and write something. This is fun. Nobody did anything with it except they collected some autographs. So I just took a few pages out. I already, while I was organizing my my closet in the office, which is where these were, I already took out some of those. I took out six boys and six girls to add to my bee stash. These are the pictures that I just got at the estate sale, but I think I'll remove some more. So I'll look for some more boys and girls. One, two, three, four, five, six boys. One, a lot of boys. There's a lot more boys than girls. Seven, eight, nine. aren't that many girls. These were cut out of yearbooks. I don't have a lot that were cut out. I kept these so they could be made into tags. And I don't have a lot of individual photos anymore. I did I have used quite a few of these. So I'm just going to keep the ones I have, since I don't have a lot. Sometimes you can see yearbooks in antique stores or even flea markets, and they want a lot of money for them. And then sometimes I find them really cheap, like a dollar or less. Sorry. And I like these pages with the dances and the music, members of the band. These are all pages from one of the yearbooks. I wonder what year this was. 
I don't have the part that says the year. So I don't have a lot of those either, so I'll keep all of those. And then we have this one, which is 66 and 67. This has a piece of vellum on the front. It looks like spider webs. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, trust me, looks like spider web. Dares you to live. E L I M, dares you to live. This must have been a Christian school. Has the teachers and the students. Well, I'm going to go through this and take it apart and probably put some pages in the D stash. But I'm not going to do that right this moment. I am going to say that's it for this video. Time is it? I'm skipping supper tonight because I had my lunch late. So maybe I'll shut the video off and then go through these. So Jane Austen there. I used to have a Jane Austen collection in that bag. Um, so I will. I have these for D stash, and I'll probably have some more from here. And I will grab them. Probably de-stash a lot of these that I printed, and there are probably some in here that are my own digitals that I could maybe not. Maybe these none of these are my digitals, but anyway, I have these that I can put in de-stash. I think that one's mine. That one's mine. Yep, I do have some of mine in there. And I did some of the backs, too. Okay. So I'll go through those and pick out some that I'll keep. And you'll be watching for D-stashes. I hope. <laughs> if you're interested, you can watch for D-stashes. All right. And then I'm done. And once I get through this bag, I'm done. And then I just have to do the work of prepping listings, bunches, and then listing them, you know. So I'll get that done, and uh, in like 10 days, the first flea market opens. And I'm going to that big Boy Scout rummage sale tomorrow with my daughter-in-law, and I'm excited about that. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you posted on that, see if I find anything. So um, keep on watching. There's something good coming along. Hopefully... You know, you find a good video or two every week in what I put up. So I would appreciate comments and um, thumbs up and um, subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.